fall offline. Overvolt DC bus. Hey guys, got a trouble call for a VFD fault. Uh, let's see, push for details. Fault offline. Push and hold for reset. Let's see what's going on with the fault itself. Take a look at the drive. I think that is just failure to communicate. Ah, no. Overcurring trip, overvolt DC bus. Make sure of that. That's not good. Okay, number one is running good. Number two is having a bad time. So here's our fault details, 9.26 amps, 822 VDC, 12 hertz. So that's normal amperage. Overvolt DC bus. Hitachi, very fancy. Let's see what our VFD2. Here's VFD1's fuses, here's VFD2. We can take it up here. 480, 480, 480, that's good. kind of want to put it into uh, hand or stop. There we go. And then uh, I want to reset it. Good, so it's no longer faulted, but I don't want it to just start running. I don't want it to just start running without me checking a few things first. DC bus. That's usually high line voltage coming in. Let's, um, how could we do this? Let's see what kind of connections we've got in there. Okay, here's our line in, here's our motor out. Oh, there we go, positive and negative, right here. So we can go DC. Volts DC, negative here, positive 
right there. 680 volts DC. That seems good. Uh, it tripped at six at 820. Uh, let's try and put it back in service and see what it does. Can I get a clip on there? Uh, it'd be hard to get a clip on that. Does it work to the cage? No, it's only half to the frame. Yeah, it's only half to the frame. It's got to go to the negative. I might be able to get a clip on that. Let's see. So, the things to check with high DC bus voltage is your line in voltage, uh, high supply voltage will cause the capacitors in there to reach a overcharged state and uh, you'll get that fault. That might work. Yeah, that works. Okay, so now I can see the DC bus with my own meter. Let's put VFD2 back into auto. Let's stop one so that two starts up. There it goes. Why does it still say fault? There, now it's in lead. There it goes. DC bus is climbing a little bit. Nine amps, 660 volts DC. That's all good. 13 amps is loading up. What is that noise? That's not good. The DC bus is good though. What was that noise? Huh. Kind of sounded like a pump, but it's good now. Amps are good. A little high, but no. No, they're good. That's about where the other was. DC bus is good. 660. And then let's see our let's see our line in voltage with the pump running. Make sure there's nothing weird going on with harmonics. So our line in 481, 480, 479. Yeah. We're good. So unfortunately, it's kind of a transient fault. It was here, now I'm not seeing it. Uh, checks with DC overvolt is check your supply power, make sure it's good, not too high. Um, and then just check the DC bus during a normal ramp and make sure it doesn't go too high. It held perfectly. Uh, yeah, very strange. Let's put this guy back into auto. 
So they're both in auto. Two is the lead, one is the lag. It's all working. Yeah, very strange. Well, don't really know what caused it, but now it's working. Not much really I can do other than keep an eye on it, see if it keeps happening. Could be related to uh, the utility company supply side fluctuating. Uh, and if it does keep happening, we'll just try and establish a pattern and see if we can pick out of that pattern what's causing the fault or when it's happening. But otherwise, this is running just fine, maintaining pressure in the system. Cool. All right. See you on the next one.